this has been the biggest story in football for the last probably 10, 11 months. Uh, everybody anticipating was Aaron going to go back to Green Bay? If he wasn't going to go back, where was he going to go? Then he decides on the Jets. And uh, it's been a great love affair since he's been there. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, really taken on to his teammates, taking them out to dinners and different concerts and gotten close to them. And everybody just loves the new Aaron Rodgers. Now, all of a sudden, the game is there. You have all these celebrities there, a full house, and four game, four plays in, he's done for the season. It, it's just, uh, you just can't write things like this. You know, this is like a, a movie script for a sad a sad ending of a movie. And the, the one thing you wonder now, is this going to be the last time Aaron Rodgers plays football? Was that the last we've ever seen him? Because at his age and the severity of this injury, it's not something you come back from easy. What would you say to that, Warren? What, what does your gut tell you? He's going to be 40 years old uh, in December. It's a year a year recovery. And, and like you said, I mean, 40-year-olds recovering from injuries like this, it's not something that, that really happens. What, what do you think? You know, I, I just, knowing Aaron Rodgers, I don't think he wants to go out like this. So um, the good thing about this injury, if there is a positive, is it happened in the first game. So now he's got, it's probably about an eight or nine month injury and, and he'll be like, I guess, April before he's uh, fully healthy again. So by then he'll be able to decide whether he wants to come back or not by how he feels. But my gut tells me that he's probably going to try it one more time just because he feels like this isn't the way he wants to end his career uh, four plays into this season. You, you know, I, I know it's it. Uh, you know, it, it causes or, or, or it uh, it needs some speculation to answer this. But a lot of people were were debating whether or not he was still the guy that won the back to back MVPs a few years ago, or whether or not he had lost a little something. Can he be the same player that he was? Can he be uh, the you know top three or so four quarterback in the league? A year away, older, and now with the in injury. I don't think that will happen, but I don't think he has to be that guy for this team to be successful. You saw the way their defense played last night. So they have a top five, maybe one of the top rated defenses in the league, the way they play and fly around in the football. There's a lot of talent on this football team on the offensive side. Now it's just a matter of having a quarterback that can play decent football and not lose football games for you. And if they can do that, if he can play like that, I think they still have a chance to be a very good football team if he comes back. Yeah, watching Garrett Wilson and some uh, and Brees Hall. I mean, some of the some of the uh, skill position guys they have. They they've got such a talented team. Warren, what should they do for this year? Because you, you obviously you're not going to throw your hands up and say the season's over. They just beat the Bills without Aaron Rodgers. Do you do you ride with Zach Wilson? Do you bring in a veteran? What do you do? I think you do bring in a veteran to back him up, but I think you go with Zach Wilson because he knows the offense very well because he's been there the whole offseason. He's been there throughout uh, training camp and the and the preseason. And I think Aaron has been a very positive influence on him. I think you see a different uh, Zach Wilson out there right now. And I think Aaron, if he stays around, he could be a, a very valuable mentor to Zach as well because they have a really close relationship. So I think Zach is the way you go right now, but you bring in a veteran to, to go ahead and learn what they're doing and also be there just in case Zach does falter. You know, there's a lot of veterans out there, everyone from Tom Brady, Matt Ryan. Obviously, you've got even Colin Kaepernick's name that's been talked about today. Is there a guy you'd like to see them go after? And, and is should they make a call at the very least to Tom Brady? Or? Well, I think Tom Brady's probably done. I think he's made that pretty clear because yeah. there's other places he could have went. You know, he's part owner now of the Raiders. I don't think as an owner you can be a player. So there's a conflict there right now. Uh, I would find somebody that's familiar with this offense, somebody that's going to come in and be able to learn it as quickly as possible. You're going to have to be up and ready to go uh, within a week or two so you're ready to play the next time they play. So that would be my suggestion. You know, Matt Ryan probably comes out of an offense similar to this, but I don't know if he's if he wants to come back or not, but somebody like that that's been in this type of West Coast style of offense. Warren, have you ever, in, in all of your years, your decades in this game, have you ever – seen an injury as devastating as that I, obviously you've seen paralyzations and stuff and and that's a different level but just from a from a football standpoint have you ever seen an injury like we we saw monday night i've never seen it from this magnitude i've seen many injuries i've seen many torn achilles i've right. seen blown out knees i've seen you know pretty much everything but 
because of who he is and Aaron Rodgers, because of all the buildup with where he was going to play and going to New York City, the the mega capital of of our country as far as media and all of that, and and what everybody was expecting of him, I've never seen anything like it as far as the uh, the air being let out of a balloon the way it was last night. 